Hey guys. So, I was in the market for a uh, motorcycle boot. Uh, I've been wearing my regular work boots and uh, it's been doing fine, but I just wanted more protection. So we're gonna go over some of my uh, uh, choices here. Not necessarily the best choices or the most practical choices, but still choices that I made. Okay, so here we are on this little review table. First, we're gonna talk about my uh, boots from around 2009 or 2010. I think 2009, this is the time when I first started riding and I got a Yamaha FZ6R and SV650. Around that time, I bought these boots. These are CD Vertigos. It served me pretty well. I mean, it lasted for a long time. You see, it's still in pretty good shape or relatively good shape. It's just the rubber pieces are melting or falling apart, but that's normal for an older boot or older uh, manufactured uh, product with rubber uh, uh, parts. Uh, yeah, I rode with this thing for a long time. You can see the sole is kind of wearing off. Uh, I used to ride daily. You know school college work this was my uh, everyday boot and it served me really well uh, great feel on it great protection uh, not so much ankle protection just you know you see this yeah but still it was good back in the day then you know I had boots in between these two I think I had uh, laced up boots from uh, either built or some other brand I don't remember uh, then I uh, bought one of these it's called Aeromoto it's a uh, it's a comp compact c-o-m-p-a-c-c dot com's uh, proprietary brand or in-house brand it's waterproof touring boots and uh, I use this mainly for my trip to uh, to uh, the tail of the dragon North Carolina so I rode with a strat liner with this boots and uh, it did fine, but it's supposed to be waterproof. But after riding for six, seven hours uh, and constant heavy rain, it'll start leaking. It actually leaks from the top right here. You know, I'm, I was wearing waterproof pants too, but for some, for some reason it still leaked. Uh, I had to... Uh, just stick a hair dryer in here and dry it out when I was riding out there. Didn't really work. Uh, I rode with wet socks the whole time. Kind of sucked. So, moving on. So, up first, we have the uh, Forma uh, Terrain TX. Right here. This is one of my choices for my next boot. The reason why I chose it is because you can see it's uh it's pretty it has pretty significant protection and it also gives you a shin guard here the buckles this is metal that's really important you got a full protection for your uh ankles right there toe box is good you even have metal plates right here metal kick plates very good soles not like uh you can walk around with these if you want. You know, if you like uh, torturing your feet, yeah, go ahead and walk around with these. The reason why I say that, you know, it's like torture for your, your legs or your feet is because it's not very comfortable walking on. The reason why that is is because it's so stiff. All right. It does give a lot of protection. And uh, based on the reviews that I've done, it's uh, pretty waterproof as well. I think it's because this is all TPU right here. It's not leather. This is synthetic right here. This feels like leather, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's also stitched for the soles right here. And uh, I'm going to show you why stitched soles are important later on. the details on this thing 
and unlike the uh, CDs, these don't. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, they protect your ankles from uh, from bending. And not only that, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna set up my GoPro like this. A little pro professional reviews, right, guys? This part right here, I'm trying to bend the sole this way. It won't bend. You see? I try as, uh, as hard as I can, it won't bend. All right, so it get, offers you good protection for uh, bending your, your uh, soles. You can see my work boot, I can bend it like this easily. Whereas this type of boot, it won't let you do that, okay? Now, whoa, beep, 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 dang it. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, we got wasps all over the place. I killed like 50, 50 of them. Let me go off topic here. This shit works the best as far as uh, wasp killers. Okay, it's five dollars, but well worth it. They drop like flies. All right, back on topic. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, very good quality. The only downside is. All right, back on topic. The next boot is gonna be the Garnet uh, Fastback Enduro. As you can see, it's got pretty extensive protection too. It's got four buckles, just like the uh, the Forma Terrain TX. Uh, it's got uh, a smaller shin plate, which I like. This one is just way over the top big. I don't know why. Uh, it's got very good uh, color on it too. It's boiled brown. Uh, as far as build quality goes, it's pretty high. It's stitched. Very good sole right here. It's got a metal kick plate. Very substantial protection for the ankles. That's really what I'm looking for. Ankle protection. It's also hinged. Uh, just like the uh, Forma Terrain Texas, but this one is even stiffer than the Forma Terrain Texas or TX. I need to stop saying Texas. I live in Texas, that's why. It is Fastback Endurance, uh, made in Italy. This one, compared to the uh, Forma Terrains, is a lot more comfortable because I feel like there's it's, there's more padding here on the side and also the toe box. Okay, so it's it's uh, a lot more comfortable to work on. I mean, walk on. There's more details. I said stitch sole. Here's the uh, the details on the sole. Pretty good. Okay, I don't think it's as good as the sole on the uh, Forma Terrain TX. I, I like these better. I think it'll provide more traction, but you know, I haven't really uh, uh, taken it out walking too much yet because they're all brand new. The reason why I kept the brand new condition is because it's a trial period, right? I bought three, but I'm going to return two. Uh, the uh, Revzilla Cycle Gear and Amazon are pretty uh, forgiving as far as uh, their return policy is. Just don't use it basically, you know, return it in new condition. Okay, another thing about the Forma, I'm sorry, the Garnet uh, Fastback Enduro. Just like the uh, Forma Terrain TX, you can't bend the sole. Try as, my, try as, you hard, as hard as you can, I'm sorry, it won't bend. Now it's not, it's not waterproof, but it's good enough. Um, there's not really a waterproof boot out there in my opinion based on my research even the Gore-Tex ones start leaking uh, especially right here in the bottom I, I don't know why okay uh, I'm just reading reviews from uh, Amazon Revzilla uh, Cycle Gear Thumper Talk I was looking at buying the uh, the Alpine Stars Toucan because it provides substantial protection like the uh, Garnets and it's waterproof but the review says it still leaks. That's $500, guys. Okay, so 
uh, out of the three this one has the best protection and also relatively comfortable okay uh, very substantial uh, hinge system so your ankle is very well protected it won't bend basically this one right here although it's made of plastic it is adjustable okay so if you're fat like me you have fat thighs uh, you can still make it fit you okay so all you got to do is unscrew it and and move the uh, the clasp and uh, there you go customize the fit next up is the uh, Alpine Stars Corazol this one is your adv typical adventure style boot uh, in this design it's uh, oiled brown uh, this is going to be the most comfortable shoes out of the three. Let me put it out in the sun. Most comfortable boot out of the three. Like I said, uh, out of the box, it's already broken in. You can probably walk 10 miles on this thing in relative comfort. It's that comfortable, guys. I kid you not, it's even more comfortable than my work boots. And I wear these 14 hours a day. Uh, now, there's a downside of that. Uh, put this out in the sun so you guys can see there's a downside to that oh damn shadows <laughs> let me find a spot here professional review right there you go there's the detail so all is good it seems perfect um but it doesn't really provide protection okay now you do have this little hinge system over there, but it's really just for show. It doesn't really do much. And uh, the reason why I say that is because, watch this. Bam, broken ankle, broken ankle, broken ankle, broken ankle. All right, let's try it on the other side. Oop, broken ankle. All right. Not much protection there now you do have protection uh let me set this tripod down won't bend it's pretty stiff it's got a metal shank in there uh, pretty substantial toe box not as well protected as the other two uh, it'll still bend forward like this let me aim this up I guess uh, forward and back it's sort of protected because you got to stop right there um, but no side to side ankle protection so what's the point right the sole is very good though very comfortable and like I said if you're gonna be walking around you know and this is waterproof apparently from Alpine Stars if you're gonna be walking around and you want to have a fancy boot like Alpine Stars. This is three hundred dollars. It's not bad. It costs about the same as a, a, a work boot. Yeah, I guess you just get this, but it doesn't really offer much protection over a, a work boot. Here, let me demonstrate. Here's your typical work boot. This freaking bumblebee is bothering me. I think he wants to eat my soul. All right, typical work boot, reinforced toe box right here, reinforced ankles, pretty substantial sole. It's waterproof too, just like the uh, Alpine Stars. This costs $180, by the way. Now, look at this, just like the Alpine Stars, doesn't really offer protection for. You know your ankles this is what i usually wear but i'm gonna wear one of these from now on so alpine star corsal a little bit of upgrade uh for uh upgrade from a uh, work boot but not very substantial protection compared to the other two all right let me put my boots back on hard to do it with one hand come on
All right. Let's put this back here. All right. So let's go back to the uh, CDs. Now, the reason why you want uh, stitched soles, there's a proper uh, uh, term for it. I just don't remember what it is. The reason why you want proper stitched soles is because of this. Well, not this one. Sorry. See this? Yeah, it comes off. The glue comes off. Now this was uh, three hundred dollars when I first bought it, and uh, the sole is coming off because it's not stitched. It's just glued on there. All right? That's the reason why you want stitched soles. Let's see. Let's see what else. So my choice out of this three will be the Garnets. It's not perfect, but it's the best one for $350 for me. For me, that's the keyword for my riding style, okay? If you're gonna go hiking with your uh, motorcycle boots, don't even, don't even bother with any of these. Just get regular work boots. Uh, they'll get the job done. All right, guys, hopefully this helps. I'm a little out of breath because I have major allergies and it's it's 90 degrees out here, 100 degree, 100% oh, humidity. Thing. Uh, right. Right. You can't wear these uh, under your jeans, so you're going to have to do two things. You're going to have to tuck in your jeans or your pants, motorcycle pants, inside. And it's not enough room to do that. Or you buy pants that accommodate uh, motocross boots like uh, the uh, climb the car pants you can get one of those like what I did so downside is they're very expensive they're like 250 plus you can also get uh, O'Neill apocalypse pants those are about a hundred dollars you can get fly racing pants that fit over the boot those are about hundred fifty dollars you know just do your research all right guys I hope this helps uh, see these uh, great uh, street boots really had good uh, experience with them the feel is very good very comfortable to work uh, walk on this one eh, they leaked I was disappointed oh well either way I mean it's really a matter of personal preference guys uh, out of the three this one's got to be the best deal uh, because it offers very good protection the only downside is it's not comfortable uh, it's got a lot less padding than the, the two especially compared to the alpine stars all right well hope this helps and uh be safe out there